Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the foot of a magnificent mountain range, there lived a wise and compassionate Buddhist monk named Bhikkhu Sujata. Known for his profound teachings and remarkable insight, people from far and wide sought his guidance and wisdom. One day a young man named Ananda approached Bhikkhu Sujata with a troubled heart. He had recently experienced betrayal from someone he considered a close friend, and he sought the monk's counsel on how to identify fake people and protect himself from such deception in the future. Bhikkhu Sujata listened attentively to Ananda's plight and smiled gently. He knew that the lesson he was about to impart required a deeper understanding of human nature and the impermanent nature of life. He invited Ananda to accompany him on a journey to a distant monastery where they could seek answers together. The two set out on their pilgrimage, traversing beautiful landscapes and encountering various individuals along the way. As they walked, Bhikkhu Sujata shared stories and parables to illustrate the complexities of human behavior and the art of discernment. One evening they arrived at a bustling marketplace. The air was filled with the scent of exotic spices, and the sounds of bartering and laughter echoed through the narrow streets. Bhikkhu Sujata decided that this vibrant marketplace would serve as the perfect setting to teach Ananda about the nature of appearances. He asked Ananda to observe the people in the marketplace closely, focusing on their actions, expressions, and interactions. As Ananda carefully observed the individuals around him, Bhikkhu Sujata explained that appearances alone could be deceiving. Just as a beautiful flower withers and fades, so too can the outward behavior of individuals change. They wandered through the marketplace, and Ananda noticed a merchant who seemed friendly and welcoming. Intrigued, he approached the merchant and engaged in conversation. The merchant spoke eloquently offering Ananda enticing promises and charming compliments. However, Bhikkhu Sujata gently reminded Ananda that true character is not solely determined by words and flattery. Continuing their journey, they reached a quiet park where they encountered a beggar sitting alone on a bench. His clothes were tattered and his face bore the marks of a difficult life. Ananda felt sympathy for the beggar and approached him to offer some alms. As he handed over a small bag of food, the beggar's countenance changed. With a sudden burst of energy, the beggar sprang to his feet, revealing himself to be a deceitful imposter. Bhikkhu Sujata explained to Ananda that one's true character can be hidden beneath layers of pretense, waiting for the opportune moment to reveal itself. Just as the beggar's disguise fell away, so too can fake people mask their true intentions until the circumstances suit them. As their journey continued, Bhikkhu Sujata and Ananda encountered people from all walks of life, including those who seemed genuine but later proved to be dishonest, and others who appeared cold and distant but possessed hearts of gold. Each encounter served as a lesson, emphasizing the impermanence of appearances and the need for discernment. Finally, they arrived at the remote monastery they had set out to visit. Standing at the edge of a serene lake, Bhikkhu Sujata asked Ananda to gaze into the water and reflect upon their journey. Ananda noticed his own reflection staring back at him, and in that moment of self-reflection, he realized the most profound teaching of all. Bhikkhu Sujata smiled warmly at Ananda's realization. He explained that to identify fake people, one must first cultivate self-awareness. By understanding our own imperfections and limitations, we become better equipped to recognize them in others. True wisdom comes from observing ourselves and learning to trust our intuition, even in the face of uncertainty. And so, Ananda returned to his village, carrying with him the invaluable teachings of Bhikkhu Sujata. He embraced the journey of self-discovery and remained vigilant in his interactions with others, knowing that the path to identifying fake people begins with knowing oneself. From that day forward, Ananda lived his life with greater discernment, embracing both the joys and challenges that came his way. He remained grateful for the teachings of Bhikkhu Sujata, cherishing the knowledge that the truest measure of a person lies not in their outward appearances, but in the depths of their heart and the sincerity of their actions. And thus, he lived a life filled with authenticity, compassion, and wisdom.